Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a glitchy VHS style rewind effect from scratch in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I've got on the timeline here is just a normal clip playing in normal speed. So in order to get the clip to have a rewind effect, we want to make it meet at the end here and then pull all the way back and add some glitchiness to it. So first we need to make a copy of these clips. So you could right click and copy it, or in my case, I'll use the shortcut. Alt and Option, I'll hold down those keys and I'll click drag it over to make a duplication. So now that I have a duplication, I want to reverse this clip so that it starts at the end and goes backwards. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click when it's selected, go to Speed and Duration, and then just check the Reverse Speed box. Also, you can make it faster in this case as well to speed up the rewinding process. So you can do something like 250% if you want. So now when I press play, you see that when it meets at the end, it starts going backwards like it's rewinding. However, it's still a slightly a little bit slow in my opinion to wait through that whole thing to finish. So one thing that we can do to get kind of an advanced effect to simulate how a rewinder might get faster over time is add some time remapping options. So instead of making the whole thing faster, let's right click, go to show clip keyframes, and under the time remapping, check speed. Now we have this new line that appears, which will allow us to adjust the speed differently over time and in a ramp. So we'll gradually go slow to fast. So you could either click this diamond to add a new keyframe right in the middle, or you could hold command and your pointer will change to a plus pointer and you can click and it'll add a line. Here we can make the right hand side go even faster. So I'll pull that up another 250% on top of what it is and you see the clip automatically shortens as well. The audio will not get shortened, but we're going to fix that afterwards as well. So once I speed this up about the duration that I want my rewind effect clip to be, I can also split the playhead so that it gradually ramps from fast to slow, like it's building up speed as the tape is rewinding. You just want to make sure you don't get any parts of the line that get stuck at 0% like here. So you want the rewinded clip to at least be at 100% in my opinion. So now we have a gradual ramp from 100% all the way to 300%. So when I play that back, you'll see what's happening is it stops, it starts rewinding, and it gets faster as it gets to the end. So that's a nice little touch. And in order to pull the audio in as well, we'll press R to bring up our rate stretch tool and just stretch that inward so it matches the length and duration of our new clip. So if you're having trouble with all that timer mapping stuff or it's confusing you, then just make the whole clip like much faster so that the whole thing plays back fastly. But that's a nice alternative, a little bit more advanced option for you guys. Now what I'll do in my example is I'll just create another copy of this and have it meet up at the end. So basically what we have is the normal clip plays out in normal speed, then it hits a rewind, and then it starts back again at normal speed. So in order to create some of that noisy glitchy effects straight in Premiere, let's add a couple adjustment layers on top. So first, let's go to File, New, and let's just select Black Video. This is just going to create a black empty clip for us to drag on top of our clips. So let's stretch it so it's the same exact length as our fast forwarded portion, and we're going to add some noisy effects to this to create some of those noise stripes. So if we go to the Effects Control Panel, let's search for Noise, and I'm just going to use the standard Noise effect. I'll drag that onto the black video, and in the effects control panel on the left hand side, I'll turn the amount of noise up a significant amount. So you can choose to use color noise or not. I'm not going to use color noise for this specific section. But the next thing I'm going to do after I get a solid layer of noise on there is I'm going to search for an effect called wave warp and you should find that in the distort folder. And I'll also drag that onto the black video layer. And now let's change some of these settings. So let's change the wave type to one called sawtooth. And now let's start stretching it apart. So instead of 90 degrees up and down, let's make it 180 to start. That's going to be more horizontal. And let's turn the wave height up until we get a full split down the middle. So now you see we have some splitting down the middle. And if we keep going further, the lines are going to get thinner and thinner. So let's increase the width between these lines to be much higher. So now you can see we've got only about two lines on the screen. So once we have that, these are automatically going to animate based on the wave warp effect. They automatically are going to go up and down 
and the speed of that is determined by the wave speed. So we could set that to 0.5 if we want it to go slower, 1 or 2 if we want it to go faster, and you can even animate that effect of it. So in my case, the only thing I'm really going to go back and fine tune is I'm just going to pull the wave height even twice as higher. I want a really thin line. And the next thing we're going to do is add one more adjustment layer to distort and glitch up the whole thing. So let's highlight our project media bin and go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. And that's going to create a blank adjustment layer for us to click and drag over that same clip. And we'll pull it in to be the same size. And on here, we're just going to add two quick effects. We're going to add a noise but this time we'll keep color noise on to add a little bit of that color noise and grain. And then we're going to go to our wave warp once more. And this is just going to glitch up the whole thing. So we're going to go to wave warp, add that onto the adjustment layer. And instead of doing it all crazy like we did for the, the other one, we're just going to switch it to be smooth noise. I'll turn it back over on its side again, 180 degrees. So it's going left to right. And I'll just increase the wave height and width until we just got some smooth ripples up and down, just a few VHS glitchy style ripples. However, we want to get rid of these black bars. So we'll go to the pinning and we'll select all edges to pin all of these pixels to the edges. So these are all the settings I'm using for my adjustment layer. You could always save these as presets if you select all the video clips, right click and save preset. And then you could just apply these same presets onto new black videos or new adjustment layers. So definitely experiment with it, play around with different settings. I went back, I actually changed the black video and set that blending mode to lighten. And as a final touch, you can also add a new title track. So new title, default still. And I'm using the font VCR OSD mono. And I can just type out and write something like rewind back back like the rewind symbol. So that'll just give it a nice little touch. And if you actually tuck that title underneath the black video and adjustment layer, it'll also get distorted and noised up like the actual video clip. Also, whatever audio you were using would also get reversed when you did the speed and duration. So it'll give you a cool glitchy noise. Or you could find some free sound effects that do the little rewinding tape player and put them onto your audio tracks as well. So that's how to create a glitchy VHS style rewind effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hopefully you can play around with these settings and create some cool stuff on your own. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new future videos. You can check out a whole bunch of other Premiere Pro tutorials on the playlist on my channel and follow me on social media at Justin Odisho if you want to reach me easily and stay tuned with what's to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.